This figure is a right triangle ABC. DE is perpendicular to BC and BD is equal to DC. If AB is 24 units and AE is 7 units, find the value of X. To solve this problem, first let's join E and B with a straight line. Observe that triangle ABE is a right triangle. So, from Pythagoras' theorem, BE squared is equal to AB squared plus AE squared. AB is equal to 24. AE is equal to 7. Substituting these values in the equation will give us BE squared is equal to 24 squared plus 7 squared. 24 squared is 576 and 7 squared is 49. 576 plus 49 is equal to 625. So, BE squared is equal to 625. Taking the square root of both sides will give us BE is equal to 25. Next let's focus on triangle BCE. Triangle BCE is made up of two triangles. That is, triangle BDE and triangle CDE. From these two triangles, we are given that line BD is equal to line CD. And the two triangles have common sides, DE, which is perpendicular to their base. This shows that the two triangles are congruent by side angle side. Since these two triangles are congruent, it follows that their hypotenuse is equal. So, the hypotenuse of triangle CDE is 25. Next, let's consider triangle ABC. Triangle ABC is a right triangle. From Pythagoras' theorem, BC squared is equal to AB squared plus AC squared. AB is equal to 24. AC is equal to 7 plus 25, which is equal to 32. Substituting these values in the equation will give us BC squared is equal to 24 squared plus 32 squared. 24 squared is 576, and 32 squared is 1024. 576 plus 1024 is equal to 1600. So, BC squared is equal to 1600. Taking the square root of both sides will give us BC is equal to 40. And this follows that BD is equal to 20. And CD is equal to 20. Now, to find DE, let's consider triangle CDE. Triangle CDE is a right triangle. So, from Pythagoras' theorem, CE squared is equal to DC squared plus DE squared. CE is equal to 25. DC is equal to 20. Substituting these values in the equation will give us 25 squared is equal to 20 squared plus DE squared. 25 squared is 625, and 20 squared is 400. If we make DE squared the subject of the formula, we will have DE squared is equal to 625 minus 400. 625 minus 400 is equal to 225. So, DE squared is equal to 225. Taking the square root of both sides will give us DE is equal to 15. Hence, X is equal to 15. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more.